like I think that it's also interesting to talk about like the mechanism, right? Like in reality, it's not bad or good to use do those ways. Like those ways, they are here, yeah. right? And yeah. you can use to prop up your scam coin, right? Mm -hmm. Or you can use to actually get your project in front of new eyes, right? Yeah, it sure. is very important. And unfortunately, there is this bias where if nobody talks about something, then it's not great. And right. so those kind of um, services could definitely uh, help you break some kind of ceiling like that, where yeah, okay. people kind of see talking about it. And then it kind of gives them the motivation to go on your website and be like, hey, maybe maybe I'll get more interest into that coin, see how it works, see the technology that they are coming with. And if you don't have this presence, then it is very difficult to to reach a new yep. audience. So yeah, yeah, so those services can be used for bad or for good. Right? Yeah, and it's well, not, I'm not, it's not a that choice. What Polkadot did was bad yeah. either. Yeah, I'm, oh, it's I'm, just amazing. We can, <laughs> right. we can. I mean, I think talk they to the point of whether or not million. those influencers would have admitted that they were being compensated. Right? <laughs> did they all admit right. that? I haven't watched yeah. all of their videos. Did know. they admit that they were compensated at when they were essentially dropping the the notes? Again, that's not a polka dot issue. That is an influencer issue. But so, so much I'm, has I think now, right? Yeah. That they yeah. influencers with with pricing and all that. I mean, it's not yep. a secret anymore, really. Yeah. It's not a secret. It's not a secret. But when you talk about bad, we'll say most of them are tokens, right? Because you can launch a a platform, and I'll make it clear. I want everybody to pay attention. I'll be very cautious on the terms I use. Blockchain, like Bitcoin or Divi, right, which is what we're talking about most of the time, those are protocols. Those are blockchains. When you talk about tokens, things that live on Ethereum, things that live on Solana, things that live on Base, things that live on Binance Smart Chains, those are not blockchains. Mm -hmm. Those are platforms. Yeah, They are tokens that can only exist on the blockchain they're deployed anybody can spin up a token and there's examples where they have anybody can spin up a token a meme coin for nothing and then get the right fomo behind it doing methods like this in communities like that and then it pumps that token up that meme coin up it explodes Maybe the community does it, maybe the team does it, and then everybody's gone. That's the sad thing about it. It's mm -hmm. you, For those who get in and out early enough, that's fine. They're happy. They made money. If they're like me, if you're like me, you're like, oh, this seems fun. I'll, I'll get some of these NFTs or coins or tokens, excuse me, tokens, and then I still have them, you know, yeah, eight years later. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're just, they're yeah. just dead tokens. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think yeah. what we were seeing with Polkadot is a little bit different. However, no, I think it's, it's, it's not a good just blockchain, influencer. Right? I think those guys, it looked like those guys were kind of on the, on the payroll, right? Mm. It's not mm -hmm. like, hey, yeah. we're doing this um, initiative because we want people to know about it. Yeah. And we want, we want, and instead here it's really constant presence to like they were basically brand advocates for Polkadot, right yeah. that's why yeah it well that's like. again up to the influencer what they're willing to ad ad agree to and that it, and then disclose and i think that's coming down to the ethics of the influencer now if the if the foundation right the foundation who is is using those coins to sell those coins or give those coins tokens away is asking them not to disclose. Now you're in a different thing, and I, 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 I wouldn't think that that was the case. But uh, and again, I, think I don't it have is enough a little information. Bit more I think thin line because, in fact, look, if we have something that we start like, look, we have the side chain. We want to talk about side chain, and we can yeah. go regularly uh, to some influencers so that we repeat about side chain, you know, regularly. But then if you have those influencers on the payroll so that they constantly talk about it, 
they're not just introducing your concept and reaching your audience. They're basically hammering your thing. I think it's a little bit different than just some advertising. I think now you you kind of get into, a, again, some brand advocacy, and maybe it should be even more disclosed in those situations. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs>